What's happening, Lobos? Welcome back to another episode of La Mesa of Not So Live. Today is Friday, October 9th. We are proud to be back this week to give you a chance to hear school announcements as well as see some fun segments we have been working on. I'm your host, Layla, and I'd like to invite you to please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. ASB will be hosting a Healthy Lobo Challenge. What is the Healthy Lobo Challenge? It is an event where you show off your healthy living. You may ask, why? Well, quarantine has gotten us into some bad habits, such as not getting enough exercise and eating junk food 24-7. To show off your healthy living, you can DM ASB a photo and hashtag Healthy Lobo Challenge. This week, ASB will be spotlighting healthy eating. Now, here's a public service announcement to explain it a bit better. Welcome to Stay Healthy. Eat this! Lobos, this is a reminder that even though we're in quarantine, we should still eat healthy. This is what your meal should contain. Dairy, grains, proteins, vegetables, and fruits. Some examples are milk is one good source of dairy, as well as eggs. Grains that you can include in your meal is rice and bread. Your proteins can be any type of meat, such as steak. Vegetables like pumpkins, carrots, onions, tomatoes, eggplants, and lettuce should be an official part of your meal. Grapes, pears, and apples are enjoyable fruits. In order to eat a healthy meal, you must include one ingredient from each food group. Stay healthy. Eat this. ASB will be sponsoring another spirit day today. The spirit day is tie-dye day. You can wear any clothing or accessories to receive spirit points. Zoom backgrounds will also count for spirit points. Hi, Honor Society. All applications and community service hours are due today, October 9th. Submit everything in your NJHS Google Classroom. Thank you. One of the best aspects of our show is our ability to introduce new staff members on campus. Well, just because we're distance learning doesn't mean we can't keep the tradition going. Here's an interview with our newest member of administration. Did you hear that there's a new assistant principal at La Mesa? I heard her name is Mrs. Ayasenda. Let's get to know her a little better. Hi, my name is Mrs. Ayasenda and I'm your new Lobo assistant principal. How long have you been assistant principal? I've been an assistant principal for nine years. If you couldn't be an assistant principal, what would you be? If I couldn't be an assistant principal, I would go back to teaching. I thoroughly enjoy being in the classroom and working with students. What is the hardest part about being an assistant principal? The hardest part about being an assistant principal would be seeing students make poor choices because I really want you to make good choices every day. Have you been an assistant principal at any other school? Yes, I have been an assistant principal at another school. Um, previously, I worked only at Sierra Vista Junior High, and now this year I have the honor of working at La Mesa as well as Sierra Vista. What are you looking forward to at La Mesa this year? What I'm looking forward most about uh, at La Mesa this year is when students come back to campus. I can't wait to be outside doing lunch and brunch supervision. What is the best part about your job? The best part about my job is working with students, whether it's a fun ASB activity or helping you find a way to resolve a poor choice. I thoroughly enjoy working with you. What are two interesting facts about you that nobody knows? So two interesting facts about me is I thoroughly enjoy having my teeth clean. I love going to the dentist and I uh, like watching Netflix. Wow, that's awesome. Yes, now back to the show. Students and staff. Check out this podcast by Teen Truths, J.C. Pohl, and Brian Williams. Life is all about kindness. Mr. Patterson can't wait to hear back from as many of you as possible about what this meant to you. Enjoy! There is a new club at La Mesa called the Buddy Up Club. This club is for all students to join and make new friends. This club will host Zoom meetings every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. for 45 minutes to an hour. You can access these on the ASB Google Classroom. Calling all readers. If you have a book you checked out and are finished with, 
you can return at curbside any Monday or Wednesday during flex time. Want to pick up another book at the same time? Reserve it online at least one day before you plan to pick up your book. Happy reading! Even though everyone is a little bit tired of distance learning, there's still some things to like about it. Take a look. Pros of online learning. Make a delicious homemade meal. Here's some suggestions. Chicken noodle soup. DiGiorno pizza. Pasta and rice a A sandwich. Endless possibilities. Speaking of food, you can eat whenever you want, as long as your teacher allows it, and don't eat during PE, don't eat when you're talking, and don't get your device dirty. Since you're in the comfort of your own home, you can be comfy too. Just look somewhat presentable. When school ends, there's no valet, bus, or walking home. You can immediately relax. All your resources are present, so assistance is right here. There's also a really nice stretch break between classes. Now back to our host. Hey Lobos, the Google Classroom that the yearbook staff created has generated some great participation so far. Remember that continued participation throughout the year wins you a free yearbook. Join our Google Classroom and check out this week's photo assignment. The code to join is O-E-A-R-W-6-W. Student of the Month for the month of September were chosen by their teams and departments. They were recognized at an event held last week. They are... From Team Aloha, Daphne Palomar. From Team Aloha, Lincoln Fisher. From the Panthers, Michael Scataglia and Jose Lopez. From 7th grade PE, Tommy Bojas and Julia Juliana Pelheo. From the Falcons, Anika Mark. From the Falcons, Tyler Suwantitit. From the Cougars, Miriam Ayub. From the Cougars, Monique Rivera Garcia. From the Griffins, Luke Talabong. From the Griffins, Garcia Ramos. From the Matadors, Sophia Araneta. From the Matadors, Calvin Alvarez. From 8th grade PE, Sarah Zahid. From 8th grade PE, Holly Wayne Carlson. From the Tritons, Clara Kim. From the Tritons, Jace Mills. From the Wolverines, Jimmy Olotu. From the Wolverines, Jasmine Ka From the uh, Wildcats, Ariana Seha. From the Wildcats, Jacob Lakaitis. Today in tech history, on October 9th, 1876, Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Watson demonstrated the first two-way phone call over outdoor wires. Bell and Watson made their call between the cities of Boston and Cambridge. Today is also the birthday of music icon and former Beatle, John Lennon. He would have been 80 years old. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope to see you back here next week. We here in the video production class care about you and hope you're staying safe and staying healthy. Have a great weekend. Bye.